uh, I believe that Jesus Christ is is uh, the eternal God, that He had no beginning, um, and uh, and, and I, I will probably springboard into that. But and you guys believe that Jesus Christ is a second God? No, we believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. But you do believe he's a God. He is a God, but he's not the Almighty God. I know that. Okay. So you believe that he's not the Almighty God, but he is a second God. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, a struggle I have with that is that we were talking, Romero and I, last week, we were discussing the fact that, uh, that uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, you, you claim to be monotheistic, you believe only, only one God. But on this single issue right here, as we start talking about God, the nature of God, who is Christ, we already have two gods. The, the Father, who is the Almighty God, Jehovah, mm-hmm. and then Jesus, who is the second God. No, Jesus is, Jesus is a God. He is, he's, he's God-like. But well, he's not a God. He's not a God. He's not a second God. Would you would you say this? Would it be fair for me to say that based on the New World Translations translation of John one, that he is a God? Yeah. Okay. So that, this is where I'm confused because you're saying that he's not a God, then you say he is he's a God. Not Almighty God, no. Okay, but he is a God. Well, in the sense that he's he's powerful, yes. Okay, but is he a God? Yeah. He is a God. Yeah. Okay, what would we do with like Jehovah in the Old Testament where Jehovah says, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. Right. But he would, in, in, in uh, Watchtower theology, he wouldn't be the last. And he would, there certainly is another God besides him because you just said Jesus is a God. Yeah. Okay. Right. So do you, see, do you see the conflict? The kind of, as, as a believer, I, I've had a relationship with Jehovah's Witnesses for years. Come to my door. I have, we've had hours and hours and hours of conversation. Good friendships, and this is my concern because there seems to be an inherent contradiction within, in, in, even in the beginning of Watchtower theology, about the issue of who is God, where the Bible clearly teaches Jehovah is the only God. Okay, uh, let me ask you this. Then. Sure, sure. When uh, remember when Moses asked God to see his face? Yes, sir. And what did God tell him? You can't see my face and live. Right. Right. Did people see Jesus Christ? Oh yeah, when God became flesh, yes. John 1, 14. Okay. Right. But in that same Bible book of John, in the, in the same same chapter, Yes, sir. it contradicts that statement. How's that? How do you see that? How do I see what? That it contradicts that. What do you mean? Well, just look at it. Okay. John chapter 1? Mm-hmm. Okay. No man has seen God at any time. Uh-huh. The only begotten God, who is in the, in the bosom position with the Father, is the one that has explained Him. Right. But referring to the Father. Yeah. Like no one has seen the Father at any time. Right. But the only begotten God, monogenes, the unique and one of a kind, is what it means in Greek. Who is in the bosom of the Father? He has explained Him or made Him known. Okay. So it talks about Christ as as Christ, and that goes along with John one fourteen that Christ is the one who has made the Father known. Right. Uh, you know, Jesus says, "You see me. You've seen the Father." Uh-huh. Um, and uh, but go ahead. Finish. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't, I don't, there's, I don't think there's a contradiction there. I think it's clear the Bible teaches that no one has ever seen the Father at any time. Well, then people seen Jesus. Sure. Well, if Jesus is part of the Trinity, sure. then he would be God. There you go. And and we, Romero and I talked about this last last week. Um, just. Um, a struggle that I have with when I talk with a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses, and, and just so you know, and, I, and I'm, please forgive me, this, I'm not lumping you together at all, I, so don't take this that way. But Mormons have the same misunderstanding about the Trinity as well. And, I don't, and I'm not putting you in the same category, so please don't take it that way, okay? What I mean is that in my experience talking to Mormons, they say the same, they have the same false view of the Trinity. Uh, Christians do not believe, have never taught, ever, that Jesus is the Father. It's what, what, um, what you're attacking is called modalism. Um, and I would, it, I would jump on this train with you and fight that same thing. Uh, modalism was rejected in the second century uh, by, um, by specifically even for Tertullian, uh, where, where modalism teaches that God exists as only one God, but he exists in modes, or like masks. Like at some point he's the Father, he takes that mask off, and then he's the Son, he takes that mask off, then he's the Holy Spirit, takes that mask off. Christians do not believe that, have never taught that, and reject that. And it's, it's been clear in church history that it was rejected early on. Let me just explain to you what the Trinity is. Uh, there is only one God. 
that one being of God is shared by three co-eternal, co-equal persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Father, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father and the Son. There are three distinct persons within the one being of God. A good passage to show you that would be Hebrews chapter 1, where it talks about Christ, um, who is the radiance of His glory. He is the express image of His person. He is the, he is the same nature as the Father. He is not the Father. Okay? No. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 42, 8. And maybe you can read that out of the, out of the, the New World. says, I am Jehovah, that is my name, and to no one else shall I give my own glory, neither my praise to graven images. There you go. So, who's speaking? This is God. Jehovah, right? Yeah. He says, I am Jehovah, that is my name, I will not give my glory to another. Um, and yet, in John 17, we talked about last week, that's in uh, John 17. He tells uh, Jehovah to glorify himself alongside him. Yeah, he says, John 17, 5, he says, now, now, Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Okay. So here you have Jesus sharing the same glory as Jehovah, which Jehovah says he shares with no one else. And the reason why we say that is because Jesus, we believe, is Jehovah, God. He is the one, you know, I mean, he's one, so that, and that's the point. We're not saying that the Father shares it with some other, other gods out there. There's only one God. And that being of God is shared within three co-eternal, co-equal persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, and so, th there's a struggle right there. So you say, you, you're saying that you think they're all equal. Yes. Well, in the sense of, of, of the nature of God, yes. Now, do they have different functions? Does Jesus, do different fu does Jesus have a different function than the Father in the sense of what does He do? Uh, yes, but does, is He less God? Absolutely not. Now, just real fast, and I, I, we can go to that uh, verse if you have one for me to, to talk about. But what do you, as, as Jehovah's Witness, what do you say to that when Jehovah says that He doesn't share His glory with anybody else? But here you have Jesus clearly saying that Jesus share, shares the glory of Jehovah. The glory that Jehovah has, the Almighty God. Yeah. No one else has that position. He, but he Jesus is, does. He is the Almighty. But Jesus. He gives Jesus glory, but not His glory that He has. Well, it says, he says, I am, I am Jehovah, that is my name. It's Jehovah clearly speaking, I will uh, not give my glory to another. Right. But Jesus clearly says that he does, and he shares it with him. He, give, he glorifies Jesus in the fact that Jesus came and fulfilled his will. But Jehovah clearly says he doesn't do that with anybody but himself. Okay. So, you said because of that, then that makes Jesus God? Well, I'm just saying it's one of the many clear passages... Where, where Christians would say to Jehovah's Witnesses, guys, listen, um, Jesus is clearly Jehovah God. You know, um, and I can show you many, 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 many. How, how do you answer this, the, the uh, scripture where it says that no one can see my face and yet live? When the Father says that? Yeah. Yes. But we saw Jesus. People, thousands of people saw Jesus. Once, once again, um, once again. Uh, a clear misunderstanding of, of what the Christians teach about the Trinity, um, where we are not saying that Jesus is the Father. Uh, and but you just said Jesus was God. God, yes. Not the Father. But is that, so they're, they're different people. Persons, yes. Jesus is one person. Jehovah is a different person. Ye yes, sir. Yes, sir. And where is that at in the Scripture? Well, it's clearly taught throughout the whole Bible. I'll just give you a kind of a foundational thing. The Bible teaches there's only one God. You agree? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's only one God. He's the first. He's the last. Besides Him, there is no God. Okay? There's none before, none after. Isaiah 43.10. Okay? God says He doesn't even know of any other gods. Isaiah 44.8. And yet the Bible says the Father is God. Do you agree? Yeah. The Bible says the Son is God. Um, and I, I give you Hebrews chapter 1. Uh, the Father calls Jesus God. Uh, John chapter 1. Uh, John 8.58. Jesus calls Himself Ego Eimi. I am. Uh, Titus. Uh, you know, Thomas falls before Jesus and says, Hokuros mu, Hotheos mu, my Lord and my God. And worships Jesus, and Jesus says, "Blessed are you." Um, I can go on and on. The Holy Spirit is God. Uh, Acts chapter five. The Holy Spirit is God. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter five, Genesis chapter one. Um, go back to Jesus and Jehovah. Well, just real fast. And please hang on to that question because I want to answer it. Okay. But just trying to give you a foundational level here. Now, with all that known, that there's only one God, and the Bible says the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. What the Bible does show clearly and distinctly 
is that the Jesus is not the Father. Jesus prays to the Father, talks to the Father. Right. Jesus sends the Holy Spirit. Right. And he says that the Holy Spirit, he will guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. um, so the Holy Spirit is, is, is a personality. He's not a force or an active force. Because Jesus refers to the Holy Spirit as a he. And are you, say, are you saying that the Holy Spirit is a person? Oh, sure. John, well, just, you know, John, let's go to John 14. So, but you know, we're springing a lot here. John 14, you know the verse, you know the verse, where yeah. Jesus, Jesus says, um, you know, He, the Holy Spirit, will guide you in all truth. Uh -huh. Well, if He's an act of force, well, are you a He? Yeah, I'm a He. Right, are you a person? Yeah. Well, the Holy Spirit's a person. Well, let me, let me, let me ask you this.